What's up guys, Barry Gaming, you're back with some more Idle Heroes, and you can tell I'm happy because we're doing Soul Awakenings for viewers today. Luginius is going to be our first up, probably going to do a couple servers on his account, and we already have a B-Stone from a previous event, so we're going to be able to pop two of them out here today, which is pretty sweet. My god, Luginius, why do we have so many X-Stones sitting here? Use your X-Stones, what is happening here? <laughs> What is happening? Oh my goodness, what's happening? <laughs> Did you forget that this was an actual very, very necessary resource? I mean, maybe he's just had some stuff regressed because he does have a lot of everything, so... I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. So, we're gonna do two B-Stones, and the first one we are gonna use on a, let's see, a G-Ster. The second one is going to happen on a... Probably that G-Ster right there. Uh, is gonna happen on a Vulcan. Now... We're not going to use it just yet, though. We're using it on the eighth one, he said. Now, we need to save this Vulcan because the Vulcan is going to be the second beast stone we use. So, it looks like we're basically doing Vulcan, Machman, Aspen, Vesa. The typical what you always see. So, let's just get started with what he already has in the bag. It looks like he has a free awakening saved up. And, of course, that beast stone. So... Let's go. The eighth one is going to be the B. Let's just make sure everything is good. I think we're set. Let's get going. Fingers crossed we hit another giant killer copy for a viewer. That would be absolutely amazing. Like I said, I'd rather give it to or I'd rather have my luck channel to someone who doesn't necessarily have a giant killer copy it then get just another one on my own account. Like it would be cool to finally hit one and not have to buy every single one of them that we use, but it is what it is. Like, number three absolutely nothing this is a very slow start but that's fine we're saving our luck up for the stone here's number four let's do this one here maybe a refund copy maybe not close to it but not quite number five let's do this not again let's go to number six which is probably gonna be a bunch of vessas Eesh. Feels bad. Definitely feels bad. We could use some greens here. Our main account got so many B tiers. It was insane. There's number seven. Okay, now number eight is going to be next because that is his lucky number. So number eight is going to the first one for a G Ster. We got a lot of bad luck out of the way. Like I said, there's a 1% chance that this actually turns into a A minus or higher copy. Whew. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. We're going for 300. We need some big points. Give us 20 points with an SSS hero copy right here. It's green. Not a good sign. It's solid green. It is a bone stock B tier hero. Feels bad, man. Good lord. I mean, it is what it is. The attack's a little low. We'll have to see what the next one gets. Hopefully, the Vulcan one ends up being like a giant killer copy for him. <sighs> All right, let's just burn through these. Let's see what we can get. He should have plenty of contract sorry gems in that we don't have to touch regular sorry gems, especially since we're using two B tiers. That's like a good 25 to 30 points right there, which is really awesome on making our way to 300. And either way, we're getting sublimation, we're getting chests, we're getting all of that fun stuff. Uh, refund copy. Ooh. A little better than a refund copy yep a little better a little better it doesn't matter that sadly that b minus roll or whatever is irrelevant it's unless that actually was that that was just a b minus right let's just double check oh it's a b speed yeah it doesn't matter as long as it's not attack it's pretty much a food copy all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see how far we can get. We should have no problems getting a 300 here. We're going to have to, of course, open some chests, see what we want here as far as copies go. Uh, probably grab a bunch more Aspens out since Aspens do seem to be the more premium between him and Vessa right now. So we will also be retiring just about everything that is not of good quality and that is not locked. C minus, that's what I like to see. Free awakening. Anything C minus or higher is essentially a free or better than free awakening. And I will take every one of them. That C minus, pretty huge. I like it. Three more to go of the Vesta copies. And then we will see where we are at on the event. This is starting to be pretty good because we're getting a ton of refunds here. 
which means we are not going to have to probably dip into the regular starry gems whatsoever because again wow this is a lot of c tier copies this is actually pretty insane every c tier we get is like 150 starry gems so we're actually making a profit by doing these summons when we retire so all right let's just uh get rid of all these get rid of all these get all of our starry gems back essentially um i need to just make sure we don't do the b tier copy of gster yeah we essentially just did all of that for free we literally just like essentially did that for free that's pretty insane let's lock down that gster just in case just in case we don't want to accidentally do this uh we're gonna have to grab some rewards from the bag we're gonna grab some stuff from the gala event looks like he's already got a lot of the stuff locked in so we will claim all of that and we're at 137 so we're a little under halfway there but that is fine let's grab a bunch more aspen copies out uh and like i said we're gonna have to grab some copies out of these old ones too so we'll get like an aspen from here We'll grab a Vulcan from, or not Vulcan, a Mockman from here. We will grab, oh, I guess there isn't a newer chest. Huh. We'll grab a couple Aspens from here as well. Why not? They're older hero copies. Let's see where those copies get us. So we have you. We got you. Do we have any more Vestas in the bag? Doesn't look like it. There's no Geesters. There's no Mockman. There's no Vulcan. Okay. Well, I mean, nope. Nope. <laughs> Those are two big nopes. Let's start back with the mock man and see if we get lucky on him right here. Nope, not just yet. So we got to get to the 200 point mark and then that's when we can use it on the Vulcan, our second B tier. I'm hoping out of at least one of these B tiers we get something really juicy. Even if it's just like a B or B plus copy hero, hopefully getting an A minus attack means that it could, I mean, you could use it as a tenant copy or it can sell pretty well. Uh, I mean, it can sell very well if it gets an A minus roll because people want those as high value attacks as possible for tenant copies as well. And I think they usually sell like for Vulcan would sell for between like five and ten thousand starry gems, which is still pretty insane. Uh, it just depends on which hero and which tenant it is as well. Ooh, I mean, it's B tier. It's a solid B, so we're definitely going to lock that one down. It's a decent attack, too. That's that's pretty solid, and that's good considering that's just on a regular old summon that we did. So, kudos to me. We got something so far. <laughs> Can we actually get a giant killer copy, though? That is the big question. I like how like, I've kind of just decided that all this is just to get the B copy for the B copy to maybe be a good roll, but... I mean, heck, a free awakening can be a giant killer copy. It just comes down to the RNG. Oh, nope. Looked a little bit too fast there. There we go. Let's go. We got a couple more to go. Let's just finish these Aspens out. Then we'll regroup. We'll grab the B-Stone because I think we'll have the B-Stone by then. I think. Especially with that B-Copy we got. That B-Copy is worth, like, what, 13 or 14 points, which is absolutely amazing. And let's do one more. Nope, two more, my bad. Two more, we'll regress, retire. Free? Free. Free's good. We like free. That was more than free. That was free plus 50. And one more here. I mean, if we were, like, retiring the B copies, too, I'd, we'd be in the positive almost, I feel like. All right, let's get rid of these copies. Uh, back up to probably a little over a 1,000. Yep, so not bad there. Again, grab all these rewards. Let's go grab that B stone. Claim all. Uh, we're at 206. So interesting, interesting. Now we're gonna do something interesting here as well. So let's grab four of you out. Um, honestly, do these have any of the good heroes? No. Does this have any good heroes? Yes. We're gonna grab some more Vulcans out. We're gonna open some Vulcan copies, I think. This is gonna be the Vulcan run here. We got two copies of Vulcan. I wonder if any of these older ones have Vulcans in them. Probably not, no. These are like really old chests, aren't they? Yeah, these are really, really old. Huh, okay, so I'm actually just gonna use these for Aspen copies as well, I think. 
Oh wait, no, I can't because they're. Oh, I could have. I have to use Vesa copies, I guess. Not you, you. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some Vesa. We're gonna do some Vulcan. We're gonna do some Aspen copies. So this is how we're gonna do this. This should be enough to finish us out. Shouldn't have to go to the bag for any more chests. So. Again, we're going to do the eighth one as the bonus one. So let's start. Oh, wait, actually, let's see. How many? One, two, three. We have three of them. So let's do five here. We didn't have any Mockman, right? No. How many Aspens do we have? We have four. Let's do four Aspens. We'll then convert over to one Vesa copy. And then we will finish with two Vulcans and then the B Stone on the last Vulcan and we'll have to see how many points we're at at this point I don't know if that's going to get us to 300 it should be pretty dang close so long as we get some decent luck here but that'll be lucky number eight again for Luginius and hopefully it pays off for him hopefully <laughs> hopefully hopefully um but do, 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 do. that's looking good there not good here though our plan is looking good. Let's go over to what I say. One Vesa copy, I think, right? One Vesa awakening. Okay. That should be number five. And now we're going to go over to Vulcan copies. We're going to do these two regular. And then we're going to do that level seven one as the B stone. And that's just going to be lucky for us. It's going to high roll. We're going to get that 1% or higher roll. And we're going to get exactly what we need. Sadly, none of these are rolling good either. So as far as points goes, this is not that great. And now we go to this copy. Lucky number eight with the B stone. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Green. Oh, it's B+. Plus. Oh, it was so close. I was like, I want to grab a screenshot of this. Oh, my goodness. All right. It was uh, so close. It was so close. I had to grab a screenshot of that. Oh, my goodness. I thought, I thought we had it. I really thought we had it right there. B+. Plus. Sadly, the roll sucks, too. Like, it's on the HP and not the attack. Oh, I swore. I swore we had it. Ah, oh, man. That was a tease. 259. So we're going to have to continue to do more. I think we'll be safe, though, as far as what we're using here. And now we just need to get some more copies out of the bag. More Aspen copies. And we'll probably finish on a bunch of Vesa. Actually, you know what? We can use these on Aspen copies, too. Because, again, if we hit something good, we want it to be an Aspen copy. So we're just going to grab Aspens out of all here. Grab them out of the bag. And let's finish this out. We got five more. Actually, that's not going to be enough, is it? Five times five is just like 25. I mean, maybe we get lucky enough and that is enough. But we only have 500 starry gems right now, so doing five at a time is probably most optimal. Man, I can't believe it. It was so close. That's amazing. A C-plus is going to be perfect for what we need so we don't touch our regular starry gems. Come on, man. Come on. Show me another red. I, I mean, I'm happy we got... A B plus, but good lord, it was so close. I can't believe it. Lucky, I mean, it was kind of lucky number eight because B plus is a high roll. There's only like what, like a seven percent chance that that happens. I guess you could say an eight percent for it to be a B plus or higher copy because you have to add that one percent for a minus and higher as well. So really, really interesting. Ugh. Man, Luginius, I'm sorry. It was the closest we've gotten without it hitting since our own Mockman on our free-to-play account. All right, let's retire. Let's see what that gave us for points. 92, so we only need eight. So let's just open up these two we got. This should be plenty. Honestly, we might only need one of these Aspens. Uh, let's see what happens. One... We need eight points, so if we hit, like, I think a C tier or higher, we might just be good. Because an E plus is five. This is a five. So, yeah, we got to do one more. Last one. Here we go. Let's finish it up. Luginius, this is for you. Let's, uh, let's go on to his next account next because, uh, yeah, this one was decent, but... Um, not not perfect. I'm going to leave the reward here for him to claim as well. 
Uh, overall, we did what? 8, 24, 36, 7, 8, 41, 42, 43, 45, 46, 47. So again, still a high roll. Feels pretty good. And the highlights are, of course, that G-Ster and man, oh man, this Vulcan copy. So close. <sighs> Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.